Hello guys, welcome back to the another new lecture. In this lecture, I'm uh, I'm gonna discuss about line graph. So line graph, this is the most important tax for the IELTS writing tax one. So IELTS writing tax one, this the this part actually very very important. So you have to uh, get idea about this writing tax one. So here is this uh, this is the line graph from the Cambridge Science book nine and about US energy of consumption by the fuel type as you can see this as you can see this is the line graph so there is a date and range actually here and uh, quadrillion units and after that this is the history and projection this is the line graph petrol and oil and coal natural gas nuclear and hydropower so this is the So as you can see in the here, this is the there is the date range of the fast actually. There is the date range of the power fast, like the 2008 and uh, 2013 will be in the future and it will be the fast of the 1980. So this is the fast and give yourself and four minutes in the total flan in the here. Okay, get idea about uh, the knowledge of this. So this is the most important. Like that, give you idea. Or, or else take around uh, two minutes to analysis this question that means two minutes analysis this analysis analyze the question question two minutes and after that at take before writing anything and uh, you have to give yourself like that four minutes four minute in total time in total time get idea idea uh, four minute like the four minute in total time get idea okay after that you have to write uh, starting your l line graph like that uh, starting your writing tax one so this is the four steps you have to follow these steps like that you have to following this step that means you have to paraphrasing this on your, on your uh, tax like that introduction so title you have to paraphrase this introduction after that overview and body paragraph one and body paragraph two as like as a like that in the previous lecture this is the bar chart or this is the line graph everything is will be similar just you have to change this the graph illustrate data from so in this here you will just change this the bar chart or the line graph like that you change this when starting the bar chart then you will chart bar chart and after that line graph graph so etc so this is the very important uh, and you have to write uh, easily in the this using this system and follow this method okay so i hope you will better understand in this example uh, rubric that means all of the vertical axis it shows an uh, energy consumption in the units like that on the particle like that here and then fluctuation again and to increase this again in this and uh, decrease our uh, and again increases petrol and oil okay guys so this is the rub rubric on the text a particle exists uh, it shows energy consumption in the unit of g like that this is the here uh, date and trace so this is the horizontal exist so you have to follow this question that means this is the horizontal horizontal axis okay this is the so vertical axis then this is the vertical axis this is the horizontal axis that means it will be just uh, expressed to the history and uh, date uh, projection so after that 
paragraphing so I need a short fair paste introduction and overview in the here like that in the here paragraphing paragraph is the introduction that means you have to write when you'll just in writing your tax then you have to narrate this your paragraphing just I need a short paragraph introduction and overview and two main body paragraph uh, not in conclusion is needed word count would be over one 170 words like that you have to write obviously write at least 100 uh, 50 to 170 words that is the uh, in the maximum or minimum okay so after that trends actually which trend you, uh, method you just follow this uh, trend that means the graph shows the dynamic data that means data in the when where fluctuation or where decrease increase and uh, others like the changing this the data value so change over time and it evident uh, the fossil fuels and coal gas oil and show the highest consumption in the year highest consumption and lowest consumption and the while the cleaner uh, energy wind and hydro solar and nuclear this is this uh, you'll just show that uh, nuclear solar and hydropower so this is the actually trends and you have to after firstly you have to rubric uh, analyzing these tracks like that which is the uh, axis then like that uh, vertical exists and after that horizontal exists then paragraphing this is your introduction uh, this is your introduction after that you have to write overview and then you will just analyzing the trend which is the actual fluxion and increase and decrease and others and after that grouping the data which is the growth and which is the data actually in the here like that nuclear and solar power and state where I can see this um, that best way and to group to idea about total would be in this two categories like that fuels and fuels and uh, okay So guys, here here are the like the analysis stacks, uh, rubric and paragraphing after the trend. Oh no, and after that the grouping data, after that the grammar. Okay, so the grouping data that means straight away actually I can see the data based and group data like that uh, different type of data fossil and fluid fuels and cleaner fuels and uh, like that like that here and nuclear solar and wind uh, after that uh, hydropower so after that in the last uh, topics I will just uh, need in I'll need to the use and fast tense and uh, perfect tense and linguages future so follow this grammar article okay you have to follow this grammar article in the here so grammar for future trends that means uh, future simple you will just using this future future simple after that that means will plus that means base verb base verb okay <coughs> so in the here will rise will rise rise after that will decline and after that will remain and after that the same after that we'll drop after that we'll we'll level of etc so etc so after that perfect future in the same way we'll have been reason so you just follow this first future perfect future perfect will have rise risen for but first participle and will have will have dropped and you'll just same this way same the similar way will have been fallen will have fallen so this is the grammatical rules after that the passive uh, to express the future like that the passive passive to express 
the future that means oh, this is the very very important for the writing so is actually then are then expected to after that is then are set to after that is and are that predicted after that is then are likely to likely to so this is the passive to express the future so now I'm going to starting the writing so this is the ha title then you have to paraphrasing this and uh, like that paragraphing this title in the here so this is the follow this step introduction overview body paragraph one after that body body paragraph two and you have to write this like that the graph il illustrate that means illustrate data from like the data from a 2008 and reporting report the regarding energy consumption so you have to just narrate this title okay after that overall overall that means fossil and the fuels have shown increased increases in the consumption since the start of the firm period with the expectation and for even more reliance on this this fuel chores and after the cleaner energy has chores have to the accounted considerably less consumption with the uh, prediction for a similar trend so this is the trend and you have to overall this overall and you have to write this overall obviously uh, must we write this overall okay after that fossil fuels uh, saw the steady steady increase this and uh, in the energy consumption after the since uh, like that one uh, 1980 so petrol and oil started a period of the three uh, like the 35 quad uh, quadrillion quadrillion so units of the fluctuated to the 2000 uh, and the climate steadily uh, steadily with a prediction of the over 45 quadrillion and uh, uni units by the 2030 so this is the over uh, you have to write this this is the overview and you just read this overview after that in the here regarding the cleaner and uh, this the fluctuation and after that using this uh, high power is projected and projected and the relatively uh, like that you can just uh, you have to write and uh, different to the body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2 uh, this is the almost uh, word is like the 180 so this is the you will when you will just write this similar and using this vocabulary and without grammatical error then you will get a so 7.5 in this writing tax okay so I'll just adjust this and obviously rem remember this and you have to note this here note notes that means you will just remember that you should not refer to one every single uh, bit of data and you need to be selective and uh, cover the main trends obviously you will just cover the main trends after that you have to uh, you don't uh, to get a higher band score for a very a long answer and keep it concise and clear I, I also advise practicing your writing by the using official answer sheet and obviously uh, official and you have to go to Google and just uh, type here easily which uh, uh, which bet best practicing IELTS writing test and with the answer sheet then you will just get a I the writing text one and you have to uh, at first you have to focus on your writing test one rules and uh, how you just uh, uh, narrate your right uh, right paragraph and paragraphing and uh, overview and introduction and body paragraph one and body paragraph two after that you just uh, you can understand easily a uh, line graph and bar chart after that um, predicted table and after that uh, um, process diagram so that is the very similar and uh, actually this is uh, these are actually very important and very easy and when you will just understanding this writing ta writing system okay guys so thank you guys thanks for watching see you soon in the next lecture